Okay, I'm here with uh, Kevin Catches One out in Las Vegas, and uh, you know he had a shoe today that uh, he made a, a real a private thread uh, on the premium forum uh, about the shoe. But it was so interesting uh, that he wanted uh, wanted to talk through it and thought uh, you know that some other folks may want to take a look at it. So Kevin, I know you got it in front of you there, and I'm going to put a a copy of it up here and. Would you give us your comments? I know you you had said it was at the Orleans, and it uh, looks like you did pretty well on it, actually. Oh, I did more than pretty well. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, I, I got to set the table because it'll help explain what I did, how I did it, and why I did it. Okay. So, I don't normally play at the Orleans too often. I mean, it's been – oh, actually, the last time was probably six months ago. Yeah. But I, I was looking for somewhere that was open early. Sure. Uh, you know, because a lot of places have kind of scaled back how early they open. Uh, you know, waiting for more players to, you know, show up. Anyways, right. I went in, and at the time there was um, uh, two tables uh, that were pretty full. You know, there's probably 12 people playing. And then right. there's one table down on the end that there was nobody playing. So there's only three tables out of about seven or eight total that they have that were operating. Okay. Right. So I walked up to the one, that, you know, but people who know me know that I like to play by myself. <laughs> Very few people like to play by themselves. You know, nah, I yeah. want to play with other people so they can kind of watch what they're doing. And, you know, yeah. I, when I play, I play like I have blinders on. Oh, I know. Well, the only, I, you know, I got to, I got to interject is sometimes if you can't get any free hands, like some casinos don't let you, especially, you know, outside of Las Vegas, it's a real drag, you know? So uh, that's why I like to play with people. If I, if I can't get free hands, you know, then they're usually well, well, that's, jumping. That's exactly what happened. They, they told me when I sat down, I said, okay, uh, you have to, I, I'm the start of the shoe. And I said, yeah. well, Give me, you know, uh, give me five, six, seven free answers. She goes, I can't do that. And I said, <laughs> oh, okay. And I said, well, what can you do? She says, I can give you a maximum of three, and then you have to bet one. And then I can give you more. And I said, <laughs> okay, I can live with that. All right. So, you know, it started off, as you can see from the shoe there, Kate, uh, started yeah. the uh, three banks. Right. So, you know, I figured, okay, I got to make a bet now because that's three. So the fourth one, I have, if I want to keep going, and I like to move things forward. Right. Um, so I bet bank. Figuring I got uh -huh. three, so we get four. And okay. sure enough, it went to player. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I did what I, you know, you know, I had this thing about, you know, uh, trying to make fewer and fewer bets to keep my hit rate up. So right, said, right. Hey, uh, give me three more shoes. Three, right. uh, sorry, three more hands. Three more. And, and then you got the three banks? Yeah, no, it's a player and then two banks. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm with you. Okay. okay. So now it was time to, you know, um, do something again. So I said, okay. Uh, so I looked at my disparity. You know, I was doing, I was using 4D, okay? Okay. The, you know, in our playbook. And I was using uh, V87. Okay. So I looked at him for a few seconds and I said, oh, I see. Okay. The uh, banker-player relationship is five to two. Yeah. And the uh, opposite repeat, it's two opposites and four repeats. Yeah. So Let's go. that's enough for me to get, you know. So I said. Go with I'm bank. Gonna, I'm going to go, uh, both of them say go on the bank. Yeah. Okay. So I started playing the bank. Right. Well, one, two, three got me to five banks in a row. And I right. said, I keep playing it. Now I'm on a run. Right. Which, you know me, I like to play the runs. So oh, yeah, me too. I, I went, it got up to nine Yep. before I lost one. Okay. Okay. Um. So, you know, rather than take, you know, another hand, what I decided was, I'll tell you what, that's only a loss of one. Yeah. Back to that bank uh, scenario. Uh, which was now like uh, 12 yeah. to 3. Yeah, right. In, in the repeat opposite scenarios, even stronger. I yeah, said, you know what? Course. I'm going to go with two more banks or another bank and then another, another bank. Yeah. So you won those two. So, you, yep. So I'm figuring, man, I'm in, you know, Fat City here. Uh, <laughs> not and you bet. Foot. Yeah. Which, which they do have around the corner of the table. I got some wood there. <laughs> and so, uh, sure enough, up shows two players. Right. So, you know, my feeling about that is when you hit two losses in a row, then I have to You're gonna be, wait. It, yeah, you don't have to hit them like one loss, one loss. It could be one, then you wait a while, and then you, the next play you hit, you lose that also. I'm going right. to wait. You're going to wait. Well, sure enough, here comes two players. Right. Okay. Bankers, I mean, two bankers. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm with you. And so I'm just about to get back on it, but I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Now I've got two, 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 two banks, yeah. two players, two banks. And I'm thinking, hmm, I'm going to wait a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you held there. I know yeah, I played went with the you. Player, now. Yeah, yeah. went to player, went to player again, or bank again. So it's, now it's doing the zigzag, okay, yeah. which is the first time this year that happens. 
Yep. So uh, I get out and no, I don't know. I don't have my hands numbered here, but you know, I get out there where again, after the one, 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 uh, it right. goes two banks and then it goes two players and then it goes two banks and two players. Well, players. during the sequence, I started looking back and what was happening was my V87 numbers were doing two things. Yes. At separately bank and player, like two games yeah. on the player side. The ones, for the most part, were staying one. Yeah. Okay. On the banker side, they were going to two. Yeah. Yes, okay. they were at and the end there. Yeah. And then staying at two. Yes. See, yes. there's no threes in there. Nope. Nope. Yeah. So, in total, I mean the it, uh, the the game on both sides, player and banker, it would it, on on the that would go to two, but it would stay two. It didn't Say go too. To yeah, we see and that. The eighty-seven, you know, shines. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So you hit the banker two in a rows there. You got a lot more of them. It, it, yeah. yeah. That, so now I'm playing the twos. Yeah. Okay. Which again is one of our best bets. Second liners. Second liner on banker there right. really took right. off for you. Yeah. And, and, uh, <clears throat> go ahead. No, and of course, of that strategy, you know, it's nice. It's nice to hit a run, but on on the V eighty-seven with the banker two in a rows there that. That became really most common. I mean, yeah. there were two banker one in a rows, but then there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your your strategy when you're betting banker two in a rows was try try to win three or four of those two in a rows, I'm sure. Yep. Uh and and so you know, you did pretty well betting the banker two in a rows. You lost two and probably one of probably four, maybe four, maybe five. Uh good bets, man. I was up by then. I was up like uh well, probably ten or twelve units at that point. Yeah, Wait, absolutely. Flat Flat betting. Of course. Okay. Of course. Yeah. So you got a shoe change in there kind of uh, well, from the uh, really went kind of. Yeah. From the the first three events. Yeah. If you draw a line after the first three events, which were three banks, two players, nine banks. Now look what happens. The yeah. whole rest of the shoe is ones and twos. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. No more threes. No more threes. No, no more threes. In fact, I made so, it, I, every time I'd come with, up with a two, I'd say, oh, geez, one of these has got to go to three. Yeah, that, that absolutely. Be. And I commented that in the post. I said, man, uh, you know, back in the day, uh, I'd have been buried. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you know what? The other people that I think I mentioned in the post, a lot of people were sitting down by now. Because everybody's trying to figure out what am I doing this black book, looking through it, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you had the book with you, of course. Oh, Good for you. Post. It says in the post. Yeah, the, yeah. the dealer asked what I was doing, which I showed her. I said, I'm just doing the same thing. It's on the tote board. Yeah. You know? And that, you know, even the floor manager came over and he didn't say anything. He just kind of watched me as I was talking to her. And then yeah. he walked away. <laughs> Let me, uh, you know, when, when you bet the two in a row, Kevin, it, you bet the one goes to two. And a lot of folks ask this question just, uh, uh, of me and, and you and everybody else. Do you bet uh, it, when you see the two in a roads become strong like that, they always go opposite. Do you bet the one to go to two and you also bet it's going to go opposite sometimes too? Well, uh, not go to three, so to speak, would be the yeah, bet. Yeah. In this particular one, it's easy to look back and say, right. say that, that. that. But in reality, Keith, I did not do that. You didn't what okay. really. What happened was, is you, and, and you got to go a little bit further. But you'll see that oh, the last last maybe fifteen to eighteen hands of the shoe were uh, strong side on yeah. the banker. Banker, yeah. So what I what I do there because the player was just getting ones except for that one two, right? One two one 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 one. Yeah. I wait for the player to hit. Wait for the and then just bet opposite and then yeah. bet opposite. I mean, I you know, I, and then I bet opposite, and then I, and then because the bank was hitting all twos, I just would bet the bank. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? So it it, it was. Betting, I wasn't betting for it to go to three. No, of course because not. Because it, it just wasn't doing it in the shoe. You know, you got to right. play with who gives you. So now yeah. I'm playing strong side. Yeah, and it's kind of a a moderate strong side. I mean, it yeah, isn't a real. Moderate. A, yeah. I, I, for lack of a, I can't think of a better way to say it. It's a very moderate strong side, but it, it emphasized the weakness on the player. And yeah. even, even throughout the whole shoe, it emphasized the weakness because the player never had a three. Of course, the banker had one three and then a longer run. So that was the only indication at the beginning that it would have been kind of a, a, a real 
a, a stronger banker. You know, that, that was very, it's very interesting, but uh, it worked out well and it's a great shoe. And uh, when it, when it happens like this, you can't help but to make money uh, on it. So good, good for you. And I think your explanation where a lot of people would have got uh, messed up is, you know, how it started to three, two kind of, uh, you know, opposite time before last, and then then kind of a long run, which throws a wrench in it. But you know, you you caught the shoe change, so to speak, yeah. and and really nailed the the strong, the moderate strong side bank and uh, player never going to a three in a row. There, a lot of clues and a lot of great information.